Okay, I'm back. He wants me to touch on that a little bit more. Because uh, probably going to want to figure out the law aspect of it. And, uh, you know, the whole marijuana thing. That's what he's telling you as to what we're going to sell it to you. However, is it going to be a crime to smoke it before 30? No. It'll be a major sin. And uh, you'll lose the points for it. But law enforcement won't be involved with that. However, alcohol is going to be the same as always, people. If you endanger somebody, if you get behind the wheel, you will be prosecuted. This is not a joke. It is not time to stop drinking and driving. Your avatar is in charge when you drink. That means you, your soul, is not in charge. You do some of the stupidest shit when you drink. Everybody knows it. Do not get behind the wheel of a car. And, uh, he is, uh, He's telling me that, yes, second, third, mark of the beast. Well, the third would be kind of hard because you'd be in a prison one. But, yeah, it's a mark of the beast deal. Driving under the influence. Now, where are we setting that limit? Well, I'll get back to you on that one because I don't know enough. And he'd, uh, it, if I were to answer, I'd have to have proof, you know, kind of thing. And we're, we're not there right now. Um, I'm probably going to leave that up to my sheriff of the Holy City, what he thinks is the right limit. God says, that's a great idea. Yeah, dude. You're going to set the drinking limits of the world. <laughs> no, guys, he knows what he's doing. It's, it's okay. He, he knows what's the right limit. Okay. Oh, dude, no pressure, dude. No pressure. <laughs> you know, to be perfectly honest with you folks, you know, I have yet to ever see the guy or meet him. God has purposely meant that I, I even had to go into register and his name's on the plaque. Damn it, it raises it every time I go by it. I do not know his name. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> I even driving the other day in the truck with the buddies. We were making a delivery and the boss man sits there. He says, hey, that's the sheriff of the town. And I went to look. Damn, I missed it again. Son of a bitch. I, I have never met the man yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that it's all him, dude. It is all him, dude. I, I, um, <laughs> I'm the speaker here. Okay. So, uh, he says that, uh, you'll be wise enough to know what's drunk. And, uh, that's what we're going to work off of. Because, uh, there is that certain level when people are drunk. And, uh, don't even get close to it, guys. Plain and simple, man. Have a designated driver. Matter of fact, we're going to work it out to where we have systems, you know, Ubers and stuff that, you know, you don't need to take the risk. But if you take the risk, we're going to consider you're okay with killing somebody. 
And that is a mark of the beast. Simple as that. If you think in your head that it's okay to kill somebody, you own it. You own it. Because that's what you're doing when you get behind the wheel and you're drunk. That's uh, the way it's going to be. And uh, marijuana thing is a different story. It's, uh, you know what? You'll have to answer to God on that one. Because it's hard to test on the roadside. However, you know, the problem is the sheriffs already know if you're lit up on marijuana, dude. You're driving 15 mile an hour. Paranoid as hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, Cheech and Chong is pretty easy to see coming down the road, dude. Yeah. And then they're going to have to talk to you. And, uh, I don't know, maybe take your car for a day or something like that. You know, they'll work out something. But, uh... Everyone, remember, God is watching you. And He's an you have, have to answer to those things that you do like that. So, bear that in mind. But uh, he did want to give a little bit more guidance on that. He wanted to make sure that everybody understood. We're not going to give you a mark of the beast because you decided to smoke weed at 25, Okay. You have to find somebody to buy it for you because they can't sell it to you. And, uh, you know, that kind of deal. But, uh, and then you'll have to answer to God for why you decided you were going to do it early. Uh, you know, free will. That's all I got to say. Anyway, everybody had a good night tonight so far? Yeah. I, uh. Oh, yeah, it's quick 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah, magic hour. Uh, I get officially clock out. Now, I don't know what's going down with tomorrow. Um, yeah, I need to know. Need Yeah, I don't need to know. It's, it's his gig. But I am coming down there for that Friday thing. I am, dude. I am totally going to do that. Dude, I want to get my picture with Santa. Dude, did you hear about that? Dude, I want to do that. I so want to do that. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Maybe that'll be my big outcome. I don't know. I don't know when. Because boss man don't tell me those kind of details. Man, I just found out today I'm still in love, dude. That's, <laughs> that's a need no thing I get. Shit, I just found that out today. That's all right, though. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to be just fine. And I uh, got almost all them spark plug wires on. So, yeah, this summer was tough. But like everything in my life, it's been tough. It's all because of this Christmas. I had to be tough. And I had to experience what mankind really is capable of and it's real problems. And that way I could talk to you with common sense and wisdom. And uh, with the Father's guidance. And I'm always going to be there for you now. That's the best part about this is uh, all of God's wisdom will be with his people now. And uh, we'll be able to get all these little details ironed out real easy. So, uh, sleep good tonight. I might. I think uh, I might stand a really good chance. I'm looking forward to trying. And, uh, yeah. I get my picture with Santa. Dude, I love that idea. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. So, Anyway, we got that guaranteed date. I, uh, and I'm getting so good with this Jedi thing and the force of you guys, because you guys do got force, too. I'm telling you, dude, I've seen some today. Man. They're just as badass as that guy at the grocery store. 
<laughs> it just didn't freak me out as much. It just, you know, I'm, I'm numbing to it. I'm, I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. I'm cruising through the stores, just doing fine. <laughs> but you could tell they were keeping their distance. <laughs> Don't get too close to him, Mabel. Come on, stay back here. Go over here. Go this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, guys. Yeah, distance doesn't matter. If we're in the same shore, I'm feeling you. <laughs> That's the way it is. Ah, I got pretty good reception. So, a lot better than anybody else on this planet. Let me put it that way. How about that? And you'll get to see when uh, you get to see the other side. Anyway, uh... You all, uh, you have a good evening, and I'll be back out with you in the morning. I, you know, I, he, I don't even know if I'm going to work. Hey, Jared, dude, I don't think I am. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, I hate that part. Uh, it's all up to the boss man, though. So anyway, I, I know what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to drink some more of my soda here and watch some more TV and talk to the dynamic duel and get back to you tomorrow. All right. Have a good evening.